everyone. Aw, oh, Phil, what'd you get me? I got you face noir. Aw. Whoa. Guys, this is a, this <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Guys, this is a family show. No, that's what I got him. You got him blackface? What did no, you do to the uh, Bioshock logo? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, face noir. Is this a Bioshock mod, or... <laughs> why is, is Agent this, York... Is why this is Agent the new York, Bioshock DLC? Is that what Booker looks like? Does he look like Agent York from Termination in the new Bioshock DLC? <laughs> he does He's talking to Zach right now. <laughs> Zach. My <laughs> I'm in an underwater facility. What's going on here? My name is Phil Kohler. We're headshot. gonna stream. We're gonna headshot. Headshot. It's, <laughs> that's my favorite part about that game. Me too. It's so it's good. He just says Great. headshot every Great. time. <laughs> headshot. Guys, we should probably just stream Deadly Premonition. Deadly uh, Premonition is the best Christmas game of all time. There's pine trees. My name is Phil Kohler. We're gonna stream some dumb game that Austin and Janine found. <laughs> This has some like this actually has some positive reviews out there. I discovered. As oh I was, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, there's some people who apparently like this game. Uh, I based off what I've seen, my suspicion is that we are not going to be in that audience. Probably um, not. But we're going to find out. What's your? Why do you think? I'm being joined today. Bye. Hey guys, I'm, I'm Austin Walker. Austin underscore Walker on Twitter. Clockworldworlds.com, the Calpy Tech on Twitch. And that's okay. it. It's just me and Phil today, <laughs> apparently. Right. Um, uh, so we just start this puzzle game. <laughs> um, I'm Janine Hawkins. I'm at Bleating Heart on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube. That's, that's about it. And uh, I'm Jordan Mallory. I'm Jordan underscore Mallory on Twitter, and I am slash dumb combos on YouTube. All right. Uh, so people in the chat, let me know how the uh, the music sounds here, um, how the how the audio is. I'm gonna actually turn voices up and turn environment down. I think that's probably a good I think idea. The music could probably go up a little bit. Go up a little bit. All right. Um, but yeah, if it's the, uh, one of the first things I discovered, a great sign of a, a really good video game. Yep. Could not change the uh, the resolution at all. So we're at some crazy, really bad resolution right now. <laughs> and we're yeah, just but that's great. One of the good signs, though, is that you have detective inventory set, which most good games, you know, yeah, have you that. know, you we could have done classic inventory, which is in two D. We want detective, which is in three D, obviously. Yep. Yep. Um, all right, let's 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 start it up. Are we ready? Let's start this. I'm mm -hmm. feeling good about it. Oh. I'm excited for voice acting. <laughs> My scoozy in chat wants to know if this is a hidden object game. Jack Del Nero. He's good in heat. <laughs> oh, Emily. Yeah, I'm familiar. Oh, from Deadly Premonition. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh. Some really great, uh, <laughs> really great saxophone going on right now. I'm gonna listen to it real quick. Beautiful music in general. So this is an indie game by two Italian uh, developers. So keep that in mind. I'm glad that we're here to tell them what's up. <laughs> Whoa! All right, stuff happened right now. I have to stop that plane from leaving. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. You get the car. <laughs> it's hidden in the trees no. near the entrance. The keys are on the dash. Okay. Keep the I just realized mm. we're going to miss all this great voice acting. Nope, no we're not, because I have the volume up. Yes. I'll deal careful. with the echo. This <laughs> voice acting. Be careful. Not this time. Greta, go. He's a very quick, solid snake. I mean, like, you, very brief. You guys can turn the, the volume up during when there's talking, because we'll try not to talk over it as much as we can it's too late <laughs> it looks oh like he didn't late, stop the plane what are you doing here why aren't you on that plane oh no i hate traveling oh wow who crosses the desert on a camel i prefer the comfort of the big city moreover had i left i would have missed the chance to deal with you i think this guy's you a villain you look ridiculous in the eyes of the organization probably i don't have any intention of letting you get with away his spindly with arms running into <laughs> 
kill me? <laughs> I can see it on your face that you've never shot anyone. You're not that kind of guy. You send your men to do your dirty work. You're right. I've never shot anyone. Even though many men and women died because I ordered it. How brave. But you know, <laughs> there's a first time for everything. Do we know who any of these people are yet? The guy on the right is Jack Del Nero. Oh no! Oh. The other guy is... Spend all my second life. <laughs> oh. In the afternoon. Oh, I less than, than 4 H4. <laughs> that fill my days with no clients. When a middle-aged guy comes into my office with two caterpillars for <laughs> eyebrows and a cigar hanging I'm from glad they're mouth. making use of that piece of art. He's got to get those caterpillars off his eyes. Of Weber Cup, <laughs> a meat house in Larchmont. After 10 minutes of pointless chatter about his job, he gives me a photograph. A meat Susan house. Susan Weber, 20 years old, Harvey's stepdaughter. He tells me all about her carefree lifestyle, her dreams of becoming an actress, and how she hasn't come home in oh, weeks, she has a face. But how <laughs> he keeps getting bills for clothes, face noir, you might say. And other things That's that why it's called catch it. the eye of a 20-year-old girl with a well-heeled old man. Harvey. Maybe it's Italian and it's facce noir. I've looked into it. It is supporting her <laughs> until she turns 21. So the kid decides to take advantage of her old man while she can and spend as much as possible until she turns 21. But Harvey Weber isn't one to sit on his hands, and he got his attorneys on the case. They think that if Susan were caught having an affair that her old man wouldn't know of, they could bring the evidence to court and get her cut off. Just one photograph would do it, according to Harvey. I take the job. I'll get him that photograph. The whole thing will cost him 30 bucks a day, plus expenses Whoa, paid in advance. Really? Don't take this Harvey break in the bank. 30 bucks and leaves me 30 bucks a day. I cash the check, toss down something that can be called a dinner, and I'm already in Harlem. A few dollars got me a tip that Harvey Weber's kid might be around here at the last heaven. Something hotel. that could be called a dinner. Last heaven hotel. According to the information that I have, a few days ago, some blondie went on a shopping spree. <laughs> some here in blondie? In this neighborhood, if you have money to spend on clothes <laughs> and jewelry, it's easy to get noticed. I even managed to find out that the girl was seen entering the Last Heaven Hotel. I'd better ask a He's few questions. He's reiterating things he already told us now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic adventure game style. All right. Right. The Phil, click on that guy. Miss Gray. A film by Howard Paul, starring Vivian Late. Vivian Late. That's the same name that Harvey Weber gave me. From what he told me, his daughter <laughs> greatly admires that actress. Okay. Wait, is this whole game voice acted? A yes. Yep. Wow. For sure. Uh, it's my car. Besides my investigator's license. A mailbox. I have. Great. <laughs> what year do you think this is? Because that it's car. Like even the shiny world of show business. I mean, if he's only getting thirty dollars a day, and he seems to be acting like that's a good amount, yeah. I that would car. say, I would say, nineteen ninety-two. <laughs> that's a nineteen thirties automobile. It is. Let's take a look around. But it could be from the future a, or the past. A temple for black music, guys. The Athena is a just temple a for black jump. music. Uh. Just a pile of junk. We're gonna need this sound clip for later. Just a pile of junk. <laughs> Just a pile of junk. We're really gonna need that. <laughs> for like the uh, the, the X play the review. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Just a pile of junk, <laughs> junk out of five. <laughs> the United States. You got it. <laughs> the subway. At this hour, I uh I never met Adam Sessler. Like during my. <laughs> he seems like a good dude. He does. Subway. I really like this guy's explanation here. That you see in it, it looks more like a state prison. Instead of just saying, at this hour of night, it looks like a state prison, he says, at this hour of night, because of the faces you see in it, like, he really wanted to, like, make sure we understood what he meant. Mm -hmm. That's how people's inner, inner monologues go, right? Yeah. Laundry. Like the fact that some fat guy is washing my clothes is going to make me feel more certain of the results. Okay, dude. You're really, uh, hard-boiled. Oh, did we not... Did you, you didn't tweet, Phil. You should tweet about this. No, this is this we got tweeted out. Did it? Oh, you just didn't at us in it. That's why I don't see it. I an didn't, asshole. and I don't know how to. Okay, great. A curious name for a hotel in Harlem. From the information that I got, this is where Harvey Weber's stepdaughter is. 
So we're in New York. We're in Harlem. That's, I guess Black music. Wait. That's what they just said. That's okay. We should find a guy from Harlem. The Harlem characterized by walk-up doors, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we are. There are photographs of black musicians hanging everywhere. Probably jazz <laughs> players. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Wanna save our game just to be oh, safe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're probably jazz players. Oh. Austin, how you doing over there? I'm alright, man. <laughs> this is gonna be a good game. <laughs> the door to the Porter's Lodge. <sighs> I gotta click on everything. That's how I play adventure games. I hope you guys are... A waste basket. No, do you rem you remember in the uh, the run button playthrough of Silent Hill? Hold on, let's hold on for a second. A yeah, there are so many fucking every kind of spammers in here right now. In, a hotel. in where? Waste basket. In the chat, I got them. Don't worry. Okay, good. That can be produced. In They're all trying to get on the hot new Holy game. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Just trying to piggyback. Yeah. Can be produced in a hotel. Okay, I had to click on that a few times. There are some candies in this bowl. Take the candies. What do you? Oh, I can. You shouldn't take those candies. <laughs> I've been there for years. I'll take my Five chances. Stars. I've got I, worse in my stomach. This guy's voice, the the guy who's here, I really like. I'm gonna hear it. Can you talk to him There's again? No way I'm eating it. Holy Since shit! I'd like to avoid getting dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that inventory. It's 3D. <laughs> How do I? I want to bring that up. Can I bring that up? <sighs> can you just look at your hands whenever you want? I've already taken one. I don't want any more. No, I I want more. Can I have him dig through? Oh. Oh, FYI, Phil, you can hit F1 to highlight everything that you can interact with in a room. I think it's F1. Yeah, that looks like it is. That asshole only wants one candy. There are photographs <laughs> of black musicians hanging everywhere. Probably jazz players. <laughs> Probably jazz I'm players. I'm going to pick up every object that's found around. Jesus Christ. Sitting down and reading the newspaper. I should have been a reception clerk. <laughs> I would have certainly been healthier. I'm not going to pick up every object. What do you think this is? Some uh, kind so of I think, um, I'm, I'm looking at this, it looks like this is the icon for eating him? It looks like I'm going to eat this guy? Yeah, go eat mm -hmm. that guy. You think it's a good idea to eat him at this point I, in the game? Yeah, that, if I were you... That's the make out icon. Oh. Let's kiss. Let's kiss face noir. Face noir, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's kiss face noir together. Uh, okay, I'm a private. I could tell him I'm police, or I could say I'm a friend. You're not police, are you? No, I'm a private detective, but I, I mean, we probably don't want to tell him the truth, right? No. Yeah. What, what's going to be the funniest results, I think, is probably what we're going for here. I'm a friend of one of your guests. That seems like the right thing, but all right, a I'm a friend of one of your guests. The last guy who introduced himself as such destroyed a room for a thing about lovers. So pardon me if I'm a little wary. This guy's, this guy's voice is fucking great. I love it. I'm gonna tell him I'm police. Police. Okay, good. Harlem, son. Oh, if Jesus. something that you learn in this neighborhood, it's to recognize a policeman. And you're not one. Great. I'm a private detective. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man. I guess someone has gotten into <sighs> More or less, it's about a girl. A girl, you say? Sweet. So you lie just... to his face twice, yep. right? And he's still okay with you. Yep. Long, long time. She's not a prostitute. He's talking about prostitutes. Susan Weber, white, Aren't they all? Frame, blonde, twenty years. Talk, talking about prostitutes. Blondies. Have you seen? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm oh man, I bet there are gonna be jazz ladies in this game. Oh, there are gonna be so many jazz ladies in this game. So many. Do you guys know there's a jazz lady Pokemon? What? Yeah. And I try to help them with that That's as true. much as I can. I think the music what are you talking about. I think the music might actually be the best part of this game. Um I think no, the three D inventory dog. Yeah, it's pretty good. What about these super Come realistic on. faces and hairstyles. Look Come at that ear. Came Look out that real detailed quick. ear. I'm gonna say, Come on, don't make a fuss. Come on, don't make a fuss. <laughs> Tell me where I can find Ms. Weber. Sorry, but you won't get anywhere by being pushed. Are, are you a jazz player? No, that can't be. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It'll be in here eventually. Okay, good. Oh my god, fucking... Also, all these bots have the grossest names. Oh shit, I blocked Shaded Fox. God damn it. Don't do that. Um, 
Phil, we need you to turn on a thing. <laughs> okay. In in Twitch, you need to turn on. This place was falling apart. You need to turn on. Turn it into a good hotel. Account verification. Okay, give me one second. My brother can't take care of it anymore. Sorry, sorry, Shaded Fox. You're, you're better now. Well, I don't know. Let's not go that far. <laughs> okay, so we know that it's at least after 1926. Sure. Yeah, it's, this is intense. You're just telling this to this guy, huh? <laughs> just laying it all out. <laughs> On this guy who might be a cop or a friend of one of your residents or police or a private detective. It wasn't the same hotel anymore. Did the police get the killer? Oh, you already know the answer. One day, great men will be able to change how things are. There will be no hatred between blacks and whites. What? Nowadays, they name the streets in New York after these great men. And when that happens, it means... It's a very progressive game, you guys. Let me, uh, okay, let me... Let me read you guys out. some of the Wait. names of these of these spammers, because they're pretty good. They're pretty good names, you guys. Uh, so we've had we've had spammers, including... Okay, Bob email Black verification is, is now on. Good job. Bublek2, Ayayui, Gumuk, Gorgrumble... <laughs> I uh, just caught a Gumuk. He's back, he came back. Gunt meat. Glue <laughs> oh, gunk meat. That's 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 gross. That's real gross. <laughs> numst. I like numst. It's really <laughs> onomatopoetic. Um, yeah, gunk meat's my favorite. I like gloof puff a whole yeah, lot. Gloof puff is good. Gloof puff is on my is uh on my team. Yeah, your Pokemon <laughs> team. Yeah. Yeah. So is Gamook. All of these sound like Gore Grumble too. All of these are Pokemon names. Is this a new weird? Is this like a viral marketing Pokemon thing? Crossley says Gloof Puff is OP. It's true. <laughs> Do you guys uh, nickname your Pokemon? No, that's gross. <sighs> I'm back and forth on it. I can't. Commit. Yeah, I, I did it in black and white, and then I went back and just saw those nicknames and just felt gross, and now I can't. <laughs> I do if I have a really good one, um, but only then. And the big thing for me is. Because I trade Pokemon, there are going to be Pokemon who don't have nicknames, and so... Okay, okay, okay. Stop the nerdy Pokemon talk. We're back to this game now. <sighs> Alright. And tell me more about jazz musicians being black people, Phil, or whatever this game's about. Whatever this blackface game is about. <laughs> <laughs> what it be known as this blackface game? <laughs> you must have a Isn't this what I already asked him? This Is this yeah. a repeating yeah. thing? No fantasies or cinnamon. Did they? Did we miss the part where they explain why your eyes are like hard to read? Yeah, I'm skipping past this. Did the police? One day. Now it. What about pie, Janine? Eyes, eyes. Did we skip the part where they explain why his eyes are made of cardboard? With a little encouragement, he would tell me more. I see. So I'm supposed to. Cardboard with temper paint. How do I? Does anyone know how to open your inventory? Let me uh, uh, let me see the options menu. Good question. Middle button, open close inventory. All right, that middle nice. mouse button, just like you That's always good. use yep. for the opening old inventories. <laughs> um, oh, I'm glad that you're saving again, Phil. We wouldn't want to. I just don't want to lose any of that progress. <laughs> Let's Shaded look box. at this. Damn yes, the, pr the protagonist is a white Garshasp. <laughs> Not just that, he's a single white Garshasp. <laughs> no clue. I actually really love this inventory. This is really neat. Yeah, I'm into it. It would be better if his hand wasn't so bony. It looks like it's made of uh, meringue. Yeah. You know, when you go to a candy shop and they make meringues into like, like shapes and stuff? Mm -hmm. Or maybe like a cake. So it's like sculpted out of fondant. Oh, Old Marlowe cigarettes. Get it, guys? Do you get it, Marlowe? I have, I have lock picking kit. I can. We're gonna break into some shit. I'm excited. It's the camera Gretel owned me. I bet that mini game's gonna be good. The keys of the car. What's the name of that? Uh, I can't read it. 
about 25 bucks. <laughs> Lots of Blade Runner jokes popping up in chat right now. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Pretty happy. 10 bucks should be more than enough for some information. There go shove those dollars into his mouth. That's not 25 bucks. Money to buy information. It's like two bucks. It was a rough time. It was the Great Depression. They couldn't print new bills. You just pretended that the bills were worth more. Crossley, go watch Blade Runner. Go away. Once this hotel was considered one of the best in Harlem. Now it's become a shelter for criminals, easy women, and people who are running away from something. All it took was a couple of years. I like all of those things. To turn new York into a success pool. I wonder where this city's going to end up. Where it always has. Nowhere. Uh, you're always headed somewhere. Good or bad, you always have a direction. The day that New York will be right... So turn off Steam notifications. I don't want to be reminded that you could be playing <laughs> Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Not gonna do it. You gotta remember. People in this city managed to bribe your good... It's important to keep perspective. ...well-aimed compliments. So, I guess you're not a believer. I believe in whiskey and in all those things <laughs> that I can explain in a day. I believe in whiskey. Faith, it's impossible to survive. In this <laughs> Everyone needs Me something. too, buddy. Not just whiskey, Probably not just whiskey Phil. All those ex all those things he can explain in a day. That's a phrase. That's a phrase people use. Mm. Well, remember this is less than 24 hours later. Susan Weber? Oh, sorry. You mean less than 24 H? Sorry, my bad. You're right. So he's clearly explained sometimes. Oh, you gave me money in exchange for information. Susan Weber with two Bs. BB. Done, Johnny. You must have a list with the names of your guests. As I told you earlier, this hotel is a place where half the tenants are poor devils trying to get away from. <laughs> Shaded foxes. I believe in whiskey dent. Yep. Yep. So this is a hotel clerk arguing simulator. Yep. <laughs> So there is no room under the name Susan Weber. That's right, son. I'm Look how expressive his forehead wrinkles are. Want, Let's say you have to tell if he's money. lying or not. Keep it. I'm sure it'll come <laughs> Why would I not take my money back? I need that money. God, you idiot. <laughs> you should have just punched him and looked at his books. Wait, how much money did you give him? Uh, 25 bucks. No, right? I gave him 10. I have 25. Oh. Or had. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's really a third here. of your daily you income. You could buy an entire guys, new guys, petticoat from the Sears catalog guys. with that money. Jack Del Nero is a real progressive guy, and he knows that jazz players don't get paid very well right now. So. <laughs> is that guy a jazz player? He's a black man. Um, They're in Harlem. <laughs> he must be. I guess I'm just going to leave? No. It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean it doesn't good, make sense? <laughs> he won't leave. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Just go see a movie. Pixel Kaiser <laughs> says, Pixel Kaiser says, my favorite part about stuff like this is imagining it as if it were a movie. Like, nobody would tolerate a three-plus minute long scene of two dudes talking with close-ups. I agree. It was like a, maybe... One of the many walk-up doors that carry Yeah, you're right. Someone. They wouldn't. You should take it's the scale to, to the artificial. By a car is an experience uh, that I'd rather right, the artificial animal uh, specialist. Yeah, specialist. Yep. Guys, we should just do a Blade Runner stream. Guys, we should. Guys. <laughs> you're having some ideas? It seems like you're having ideas one on top of the other here. <laughs> that was. Yeah. That's. Yep. I kind of want to stream Blade Runner. The game. The PC adventure game. It's, like not even the shiny it's really good. It's sure like this, but good. Stream that weird Blade Runner Total Recall Canadian show you watched. The subway. I didn't finish I it, first of all. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Soon. I'll get back to it. I needed a break. Oh, I can go to this alleyway here. Maybe that's. Oh, do that. Yeah, you should definitely do the alleyway. Everything it's happens in alleyways in yeah. film noir films. That's true. A gate. The cheapest way to keep away the bums from the dumpsters at the end of the alley. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go there. Gate is locked. Oh, the gate is locked. How could I get past that lock? Ugh, we can't. The end. <laughs> you should put your piece of candy in it. <laughs> right. That's why you picked it up. It's closed. Yeah. This Have is the LucasArts games. game, right? Jam the candy in the lock. <laughs> What's the problem? I don't see why I should. What? What do you mean? Oh, you. <laughs> oh, this is, go this is such a good video game. Um. I don't see why I should. I would also like to stream Snatcher Starcraft. Uh, Dre and I have actually been 
here's a little, little inside baseball. We've been talking about doing a cyberpunk game stream called Cyberpunkistan. Um, so we'll see. I have I have some plans. I'm glad you're never gonna let that joke go. That was a good joke. It is a good joke. And Dre is the one who suggested the name, so it wasn't even me <laughs> holding on to it. Phil, try uh, getting more candy. Oh, that's a good idea. You want to get more candy. Guys, is that a, a rep- this guy's a replicant? That's what skin people were job. saying. And yes, definitely yeah. a skin job. Also, that's yeah, racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I think that's the least racist thing that we're in for in this game, so... Phil, you had a new dialogue option. I saw. I have a question for you. Um, Blondies. What? Can you use your head? <sighs> okay. Whoa, what is this? You have to select two pieces of information okay. to connect, and if there's a connection, you gain an insight. I've played a game that does this before. What, what was it? Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble? Yeah, was it Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble? <laughs> we should finish that. Susan, okay. Susan's Passion. Ooh. A Blondie in Harlem. The Hotel God Guests. I've seen all of these movies. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> oh, so he's like wondering, did she... Did she have her name... As the this is the how do I connect them? How is do I? Oh, oh, good call. We glasses. just click and drag. Late. Yes, she matches your description. White, young, and blonde. Is she the woman you're looking for? Yes. What room is she in? Room three thirteen, third floor. Thanks. In the hallway. <laughs> Thanks. God. Well, enjoy your jazz, ask sir. You. Well, if you need me, I'm here. <laughs> So we had to sit through an entire dialogue with him, yep. go outside, go into an alleyway, and then come back. No, I I bet I could have done that before going outside. I just didn't try talking to him again. <laughs> Room 311. Oh man, I bet this hallway will be full of intrigue. Overlooks 125th Street. <laughs> I don't, I'm not convinced. Oh or just God. general grime. There are photographs of black. This, this is what. Oh lord. Look at that lampshade. God, you're running a hotel or something. You know what this is? This is the apartment complex in Silent Hill before Raised it got out. bad. <laughs> I'm not sure it's before it got bad. <laughs> There's a little. This is like here. midway through the baddening process. Yeah. It's the next Silent Hill game, right? The baddening. <laughs> you're in or control now. Oh. Sorry, we're in dynamic mode. Oh shit! What? What were we in before? That was not dynamic. Yeah. Oh. So you weren't in control before. Yeah, Pixel Kaiser. Pixel Kaiser says, "I just realized how much this main guy sounds like Snake in a Saturday morning cartoon version of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> he really does." <laughs> What am I even doing? I don't know what I'm doing. You just shake it. Shake it. Fucking drag. Phil, un- right. unlock right. the mysteries of the box. What the hell even is that? Go- it's just a hall box? It's beige. It's a, a panel. People have been wondering if the platonic realm existed. It does. This is beige. This is the platonic ideal of beige. I don't... I can't... When I right-click, <laughs> he just... It shakes. It's gotta be... Scratty B says, I feel like Silent Hill was a huge public works project to make this apartment complex less shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Room 312. 